Hello, hello, hello. Today is still Tuesday, January 10 for me. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. For all of you in India, of course, it is already January 11. Some time ago, when I made a slip on a problem, I don't remember which problem that was, it was M. Droigen who corrected that slip. And I made a video in which I thanked him for that correction. This time, in a way, he also made a correction, but of a different nature, but certainly Certainly, what he suggested is something that I should have done, which I didn't. And that is with question C. The answer for question C is a very strong function of the time t. And for the time t, I took 5.4. Yet, if I am a little bit more accurate on T, I should have taken 5.39. And maybe in a more extreme case, I should have chosen 5.392. If I had taken 5.39, as many of you have done, the answer should have been 10,600, very close to 10,600. If I had chosen, which some of you have done, 5.392, then the answer would have been 10,605. So all of you who basically came up with 10,600 or 10,605, that was 100% correct. And my 10,600 here is also correct, but for the wrong reasons, because I rounded it off. All right, so I repeat myself, you should really have chosen for the time t 5.39 and you would then have found a value of 10,600. Had you chosen 5.392, you would have found 10,605. Thank you, M. Droigen. Thank you very much. Yes, you were correct. And I consider what I did uh, a slip. It is, it is yeah, definitely a slip. The physics is not wrong, but when I put in the numbers, I am a little careless. All right. We'll be friends. That's the strongest conservation law in physics. And that will always be the case. <laughs>